5 Things to Know About Franklin Wackett The crowd cheers as Fitz and the Tantrums performs at Pilgrimage Music and Cultural Festival Sunday, September 24, 2017 at the park at Harlansdale, Indiana Franklin, Tennessee, photo, Lacey Atkins slash The Tennessean, by photo. Looking forward to 2018, Franklin leaders said they were already watching for infrastructure projects and projected growth in home sales. At Franklin Tomorrow's Frank Talk Lecture Series Monday morning, five panelists explained the business, real estate, tourism and municipal outlook for the next year. Here are three key items they expect to see. Mayor Ken Moore said he has long awaited the beginning of construction on the northwestern quadrant of Mac Hatcher Memorial Parkway. We want to finish this as fast as possible, he said. The IMPROVE Act was a milestone for funding for our transportation networks. We will see many benefits from that. He's also looking forward to sidewalk improvements in both directions of Highway 96 and a continued pursuit of a Harpeth River walk. The city will look at downtown parking and improving the Franklin Transit system, Moore said. I am told that shortly after we finish the downtown parking study, we will look at a circulation study and look at how we can move traffic better, he said. I am also excited that we have the Regional Transit Authority's attention for park and ride location in Franklin. Williamson's real estate market will continue to be hot in 2018. Williamson County Association of Realtors Lisa Worth said the market will remain in a state of demand. But Worth said strong growth doesn't come without hiccups. Without a strong community, our real estate market wouldn't prosper, she said. We collectively work together to make a great community. We will see affordable housing be full of pressure, and we will see inventory start to increase a little bit. But the pressure will be on the $325 to $425,000 range, which is what is considered affordable housing in Williamson County. We are at 90% shortage for the demand in that market. With a Public Arts Commission and Sports Authority in place, Visit Franklin CEO Ellie Westmanchin said she had high hopes for tourism in 2018. The Franklin Public Arts Commission, which begins next year, and will include a nine-member board responsible for placing cultural pieces in downtown and Cool Springs. The cultural traveler stays longer and spends more money, Westmanchin said. I think we can go after a different niche of traveler and I am excited about that. In addition, the Sports Authority's foundation in 2017 will help to manage the future for youth and amateur sports in Williamson County. We are set up and ready to go to host sporting events, she said. If we can bring our sports facilities up to speed, we could fill every weekend.